<laughs> I've dug up a couple of whistle toys which I wasn't really aware of. So this one particularly is an extraordinary one which I must show. But before that I'll just show another one which I don't think I've shown before but if we have, this is a wolf whistle. It's a nice idea. It's got a place for blowing in, apparently. But hang on a sec, this is electrical. And that's closed in. So what's going on here? Well, it's a, an electronic wolf whistle. <whistles> How do I do that without blowing? Well, those are two terminals here. And when I put my wet tongue on it, or that, it'll start making a whistling sound. Quite nice. And it persists because it's uh, there's still a bit of liquid there. I've had to dry it off. So a nice wolf whistle design, entirely made electronically. Put it in the mouth with a wet tongue, touch it, and away it goes. That's a nice design. The other one is a very interesting idea, which a German company showed me and gave me a sample in, 90, in 2003. It's just a little straw. It's very hard to see this, but there's a tiny little, tiny little um, whistle type, what do you call it, some um, orifice there with a sharp edge to it. Curious enough, there's three holes on the back as if you're supposed to put your thumb in it, like some flutes and things, but I don't know what that means. If you want to use it as a straw, you cover it up like that, and now I can just drink water through it with a straw. But if I want to perform it, I pull it back, the other ones don't seem to do just extras, I suppose, and put that into water. That's not bad at all, is it? When it's time to stop whistling and drinking, you just push that down to there and have a sip. Yup, it's come through. Nice concept. I went through my collection of the whistles and realised that it's quite a rare thing to find whistles that need water, water whistling, water warbling toys. There's one which I've fitted in the Christmas pack, this one here, which you may remember. This is a, a similar one. It's got um, a place for water there. If you don't put water in it, it's very boring. It just goes, <coughs> and that's it. When, however, you put water in it, the bottom of that is all water. And this fish version, I put, which I put in the Christmas pack, is nice because you can slightly vary the tone like that. And this makes a nice sound. Good stuff. Nice design and quite rare. And there's one more which is exceedingly rare. I think only one company ever made this one. I probably have shown it when I was doing mugs and things. This is some um, Woodstock, who knew about it. It's an old idea, but they couldn't get any company in America to make it. So eventually they found a ceramic company in the former East Germany, I think it is, who are expert at making things out of porcelain and things. It's got a whistle attached, it's an integral part of the actual cup itself, but with a hole down there, so when you blow, <whistles> In between sips of cups of tea, it makes a jolly nice sound of a of a warbling sound of a of a whistle. I don't think anyone's ever reproduced that since then, so that's a real rarity. Beautiful. I thought I'd just finish off this short video by showing um a bubble toy which I suddenly emerged. I did some you know sort of skipping toy. That's right, but it does bubbles. I found this when I was showing my skipping toys. These things. They call it uh, jump ropes, don't they? This one appeared. I thought, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. But two days later, when I'm clearing out my um, cupboard under the stairs, what emerges, which I haven't seen for about 25, 30 years, is exactly that. Brilliant. You put bubble mixture in here. You put bubble mixture in here. I think I must try it when we get back to the studio. We can do bubble toys outdoors, etc. The idea is you hold it like that, and the bubble mixture trickles down here and covers this with films all there. It covers the little little bubble ones with films. When it's whirling through the air, the air is going to push through and make the bubbles erupt and come out of it. So you'll get this scenario, hopefully, like that. Nice idea. Never seen it before. Never played with it. Well, certainly attached to this was one other thing, which is not even to do with some um, skipping rope, but just another bubble toy which I've never seen before. I must have seen it because I put it away myself. And everything. So this is a nice concept. Look at that. You dip that into a bowl of bubble mixture and wave it through the air and I've counted 90, 9 times 10 holes there. So you'll get 90 bubbles and 90 bubbles and you'll get hundreds of bubbles from these. So two good bubble toys. This is a skipping rope toy which I find fascinating.
I must keep looking for different things and then interconnecting and things. But the main idea, the main discovery for me was the whistle toys, which is a, is a, is a nice genre.